like motherfuckers just over here parked. That's what it looked like. What the hell's going on? These niggas ain't brake checking. These niggas snap napping. That's what they doing. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Fuck up. I pull up on the corner, starting like, hey my guy. It's Mac with cheese, hey my guy. I got him for the low, low, hey my guy. He's talking to the pop. hey my guy. Break, air brake check. Um, I haven't done one in about five years. And if you believe that, for my man. Anyway, all right. My engine was running, my air pressure was above 125 PSI, I have turned off the truck and I turned the key back on to the on position, not engine running, just to the on position so I can have some power. I know that light is mad bright on my forehead, this is like a movie theater right here, right? Fuck y'all looking at my head though, we ain't here for that, I need some light, I know motherfuckers want to see me, especially the ladies, I'm handsome. Um, anyway. All right, so the key's back on, so I have to have power to the unit. This electricity, so my gauges are working. What I'm gonna do now is apply firm pressure to the brake pedal, okay? You see that I lose no more than four PSI in 60 seconds. All right, put 60 seconds on the clock in your mind. Go! Hold this. Yeah. All right, see the second pass. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pumping down the brake pedal. I should get audio and visual cues, meaning beep. Let me know who's the air pressure. And visual should be a light coming on. All right, and that should come on around 60 psi. All right, so let me get the pumping. All right. Heard that? Beep! Secondary air pressure low, as well as the main pressure. Now I'm gonna keep pumping it down, and by between 20 and 30 PSI, the parking and trailer brakes should pop out, all right? There they go. They both have popped out at about 35, 40 PSI. All right, so now what I do is crank the engine. It's too early for this shit. Now, we want to build our pressure back up above 100 to 125 PSI within 90 seconds. And to uh, help it out, speed up the process, we can uh, rev the engine up to about 1500 RPMs. All right, so y'all count down 90 seconds in your fucking heads. I'm gonna probably fast forward through this. That's all we really want. Get our air pressure back up over 100. 100, 125 PSI, that is sufficient. And that way we can get back to fucking rolling. All right, so there we go. There's motherfucking air brake test. Air brake check, air brake test. It's both of them shits, okay? So I'm get my ass back on down the road, man. Still on my way out of California with the bullshit. Okay. So it's a 6% grade. And the speed limit for trucks is 35 miles per hour. I have my crew set to 28, my 
Jake Brakes is on three, which is the highest on the Kenworth T680. And I'm, I will go no faster than, let's say, 35, 36 miles per hour. So I feel comfortable with that. I don't have to touch my brakes. And if I do, it's very seldom at the way I have my uh, cruise and Jake set up. So I can essentially cruise around this motherfucker right about, I'm doing 32, 33 right now. And that's cool. You know, I mean, I'm not in a rush. It's, it's dark out here, and I don't know what kind of shit might jump across the highway up here, if anything at all. Matter of fact, let me go up a little bit more on my cruise. Let me make it a nice even 30 for now. And 6% ain't bad, but there's a truck up in front of me who keeps, like, slamming on his brakes. I don't know what the fuck is he doing, but, you know, it's a little, uh, suspect. So y'all, that's it, man. Um, I'm gonna get down to the bottom of this hill, and uh, if I do get down there one piece, I'll show you the outcome of this. It's gonna be a slow ride. Looks like I made it out of there just in time to see the orange in the sky. It's that rainbow shit again. I see a little orange, a little pink, some green, some gray. But it's beautiful though, you know, I give it that. But I made it down that damn hill in one piece, obviously. And now, my day really begins. This is your guy, Guilty718. I'm not a YouTube trucker, I'm a trucker on YouTube. Facts. I got a funnel.